Hey guys, here is a new series I'm making called What's in Your Drugs? Alright, Journal of Developing Drugs says evidence that food, peas, and V's cause the development of food allergies. Okay, so I'm going to paraphrase this document for you. If you'd like, you should look it up, type in this title, and you should be able to find the document. Nobel Laureate Charles, and I'm not going to say his last name for you but it's spelled R-I-C-H-E-T. He demonstrated that over a hundred years ago, injecting a pea into animals or humans caused immune system sensitization to that pea. Subsequent exposure to the pea can result in allergic reactions or anaphylaxis. The more you get certain V's, the more you will develop food allergies. Say it with me now. The more you inject with food peas, the more you will develop food allergies. Anti-ovalbumin is what they call a egg allergy. This is found in the one V that they try to give you every year and they tell you it'll prevent a sniff sniff right so that contains egg peas in it they've done a test where they removed the food pea from the V and nobody got an allergy okay so this has been proven also they say that the infection tuberculosis is supposed to help alleviate an allergy, okay? However, when injected with a food pea, the TB infection does not work. It still showed as three and a half percent of people still get the food allergy, okay? Meaning that certain V's, and I'm not gonna go into detail on which ones, you'll have to do some research yourself to find out which V's contain food peas. And you will find out that we have eggs, we have stuff like milk, Allergies, we have lots of, lots of allergies. Legumes. Do some research, people. Find out if you do have a food allergy, if one of these V's contained one of those products. One of those food peas. I'm not going to make this too long of a video because I notice I lose people when I make a long video. So this is going to be it. I'm wrapping it up. Thank you for watching. Do some research.